All right, welcome in. We're back with uh, Coach Matt Burleson from Telfair County uh, joining us here on the Rob Ben and Joe preview for 2023 with the Terrafall County Telfair County Trojans. Coach, how you doing today? Uh, I'm good now. We, we've gotten inside for a little bit here and dried up some of the sweat from uh, from being outside, but uh, it's a good day. I hear you, Coach. Well, uh, you guys are putting in work, you know, coming off of a good year last year with uh, – you know, just momentous uh, record-setting uh, events last year in school history, and uh, I think you even had to pick up some pine cones at the end of all that. But uh, we won't talk about the pine cones. We'll talk about the season, though. Uh, let's reflect real quick before we look ahead. Tell me about the, uh, the last year's season the fair for Telfair. Yeah, like you said, it was uh, it was a great year. It was uh, uh, the best that uh, this this school, this community, seen since uh, 1993. Uh, so it, it was an exciting year. It was fun. Uh, I know the community and the school, everyone was excited. It was, it was, uh, it was a great experience and, uh, it was a fun ride. And, and, you know, we're definitely appreciative of, of all the success that we got to have last year. Absolutely. And coach, uh, as we now look ahead into this coming season, you know, you reset the bar uh, you said the best since 93. How many of those kids do you have coming back, and what's the expectation looking ahead here into the 23 season? Well, I think we have uh, – we were talking about it the other day. Um, I think we have eight starters coming back on on defense. Uh, so, it, you know, it's a, it's a good many. It's a, it's a very experienced unit. Um, and then we have, I think, seven coming back on offense. Uh, so it's it's a pretty veteran group there. A lot of a lot of seniors. We had a small senior class. It was a very talented, but small senior class last mm-hmm. year. Uh, but we got a good many. At least for you know our size school, we got a good many seniors. I think we got around ten or twelve, which is a pretty good group for us. Uh, but they've played a lot of ball. Most of those kids, they took the lumps as uh, freshmen and sophomores. You know. Uh, you know, and, and they, like I said, they got a lot of playing time, but, you know, it's hard when you're having to play as freshmen and sophomores. And, mm. you know, a lot of those kids did. And uh, <clears throat> and now, you know, they're, you know, puberty is a wonderful thing. They were <laughs> they were juniors. They were juniors last year. They've all gotten, you know, bigger, stronger and faster. So, right. you know, we, we had a, you know, a really successful year last year. Now that group uh, is is all seniors. Uh, so you know, we're, we're excited about our core group. Obviously, we've got some holes to fill from some key guys that we uh, we left. But like I said, the core group from from last year is there. Awesome. And Coach, uh, one of the things that uh, people in my position often fail to, to ask about, you know, obviously you guys work really hard on not only the camaraderie and the, the unity of the team, but also the coaching staff. I mean, you guys – have anybody that uh, has gone on to to other other jobs, or do you have your whole coaching staff back this year and ready to go? We, we've we've had the same coaching staff for about the last. Now we uh, we added you know moved a guy up from the middle school um, about three or four years ago, mm-hmm. but we've had the the same coaching staff for about six or seven years. Which you know I said you know continuity in that department is, right. is great for us working together because we all. We all know each other well. We we know what each other wants. They know what I want. They know what I expect. Uh, and when when you've been around each other long enough, you can start kind of thinking like one another, which makes it good because they can go ahead and get some things done. And then right. obviously, uh, uh, kids can say what they want, but they don't like a whole lot of change. So that's right. You know when they when they when they see the same adults uh, around them all the time, I think that gives them a sense of comfort and security and um you know that's what that's what teenagers definitely need now oh, i agree 100 percent, and that, that makes for for a good scenario when you can have uh the same kids coming back and seeing the same faces and and going through the same reps you know and, and the same uh model of football that you expect to see it it's all good so glad to hear that well coach let's talk a little bit about specifics now let's talk about uh the schedule that you've got coming up here in 23 and Let's talk about what your um, plans are or thoughts are around that schedule first. So um, I don't have the schedule here in front of me right this second, but we will have it uh, put up on the screen here in a few minutes. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're seeing going into the season. Uh, obviously, um, you know, it's it's a pretty good schedule. I think um, I think four of our five non-region opponents made the playoffs last year, a couple of them advancing further. 
And then obviously we've got some, you know, really strong uh, opponents in our region. But we start off with Lanier County. You know, Kurt Williams has done a tremendous job down there turning right. around that program. And I think they had a lot of firsts and one of the best seasons in school history. Uh, for I think – I think Kurt told me it was their first playoff win it was. in school history. It was. So, yep. yeah, and, and they had a fairly young team. He's got a lot of guys, excuse me, coming back. So that's going to be a real tough test down there in Lakeland to start the season. Uh, like I said, because Kurt does a wonderful job down there with those guys, and I know they're building off of the success they had uh, last year. Yep. And then we um, – uh, let's see, we play Atkinson County, uh, which, they, you know, they've got a new coach. And, you know, he's been a very successful coach in the state of Georgia, Coach Bobby Jones. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know he's going to have those guys in the weight room. And I'm sure anytime you have a new coach, there's going to be a lot of excitement around the program. And it's early on, so they're going to be fired up, ready to go. And uh, they were a very, um, you know, big and physical team last year. And, you know, that was one of the hiccups we had last year. But I think at the same time, it was a – it was a good wake-up call for our for our boys, and we kind of rolled, uh, you know, after that. But uh, and then we got uh, Bryan County. Mm -hmm. Coach Gerard Freeman has done an excellent job uh, getting those guys rolling and got them in the playoffs. And uh, they're a very uh, tough and physical ball club as well. They kind of take the personality of their, you know, their head coach over there, and he's done a tremendous job. And then we got Montgomery County, who's been very successful. You know, over the last several years, tons of athletes over there, both football, basketball, track, uh, excellent program. They've still got a lot of athletes over there. You know, they made the playoffs in, in their region. Um, we got Miller County, who over in Region 1, they were the region runner-up over there uh, behind Early County. You know, and then Trueland's got a new coach as well, Coach Collins, who you know, I knew when he was uh, the head coach at Southeast Bullock, and he's going to bring a very physical brand of a football to the table so you know you better be ready to strap it on and, yeah. and be physical because they're, they're coming at you and uh you know you be ready to stop it or you're gonna get more of the same rest of the game so you know it's, it's a very it's a very competitive region um last year there was a lot of teams from our region you know wilcox made it a long way uh Dooley was about i think one or two yards from being in the semifinals. right you know they got real hot they got hot at the right time and you know you know we had a you know, pretty good year as well. Uh, and Wheeler, Wheeler, I think, about knocked off MCA in the first round. So it's, it's a tough region. And on top of the uh, the non-region schedule we got, it's, it's good. So, you know, we got to fill those holes that we've got right now and, and be ready to go right off the bat. Well, let's talk about this energy and the energy that was created last year from uh, the success of the program there in Telfair County. Again, Coach Matt Burleson here with us, a head coach for Telfair. And uh, you guys, you know, had a pretty good season last year, you said, just a second ago. But let's talk about that energy around the community because that, that gets things, you know, fired up and, uh, you know, helps fill, the, helps fill the stands there on those home games and uh, on the travel as well. So what are your expectations, you know, kind of from the community point of view this year? Yeah, it's always great when, uh, you know, the community is, uh, you know, so supportive of our student athletes here. Uh, we, we had a great year just in general uh, for Telford County Sports. You know, softball has been ultra successful over a long time. Cross country has. We have one of the best bands in middle Georgia. Um, our basketball team, uh, girls made – both teams made the Sweet 16, and our, our boys team won their first uh, playoff game in, I think, uh, 40, 50 years. Wow. Uh, and, you know, yeah, and we've had a, we've had a very strong, obviously, tennis – tennis program as well and baseball has been very good as well so uh it's it's been great and it was a great year last year and you know of course we want more of the same and it, like i said it's always great when you know the the community's behind you and it was it was really fun to see when we hosted the first round mm -hmm. is to see those stands full mm -hmm. and and it was packed and just the energy and the atmosphere i think the kids really really enjoyed that and, and fed off of it so it was neat to see and uh like I told them, you know, if you want some more of the same, you got to put the work in, you know, because nobody's going to give it to you. And, of course, uh, you know, we may have snuck up on a few people last year, but um, certainly not going to be able to sneak up on anybody right. this year. And, um, you know, you still – you're going to be hunted, but, you know, you still got to go do the hunting yourself. So um, it, it was great, though. You know, everybody was, you know, wanting to see what they could do to, uh, you know, support and, and get behind and help these guys. And, you know, when we had that really long uh, – playoff game over early county i think it was about a three-hour ride we had i think uh 
some fans, you know, rented a coach bus and, and drove yeah. over there. I think we had, I mean, we had, I think just as many folks as they did over there. <laughs> and it, it was, uh, I mean, it was packed on our side and three hour ride. And it was really, really, really cold that Friday night. Yeah. Uh, so it, it was exciting to see, you know, uh, a packed, um, visitor stands, you know, in the second round and, you know, our, we just, we didn't play our best, you know, our game that year in early County was a fine club, but, uh, like I said, it, it was really exciting to, um, you know, to see all the folks out there and I, I, you know, what kid doesn't get excited, you know, when, uh, he looks back there and, you know, and sees a packed house and everybody's screaming and yelling. So it's right. really neat for the kids. And, uh, it's a, you know, fr I don't care whether you go to the NFL or college or what, there's nothing like a, a Friday night in a small town of South Georgia. So it's, right. it's a neat experience for the kids. And uh, I, I was excited for them. So much fun. And, you know, you're spot on with that, Coach. It's, there's nothing like high school football, and especially high school football in the state of Georgia and in South Georgia on top of that, right? It, it's some of the best football you'll, you'll find anywhere. So it's always good to get that uh, buzz up. Now, Coach, you know, we, we like to talk to you every Friday night on the Rob Ben and Joe show here after your ball games. Uh, we always love getting to, to catch up with you. And we always ask you, you know, who, who kind of stood out on the offensive, defensive, and special team side of the ball as we give out those helmet stickers. And uh, we look forward to doing that again this year. What are some names, uh, do you care to throw any out there that we may get used to hearing uh, over the course of this season? Well, uh, like I said, we have, we have a lot of our skill, skill kids back. So uh, uh, Sammy Grimes and Braden Cook will be kind of moving primarily into uh, the running back position to, fin it, to fill in for Quay Powell, who, who you know, had a, a marvelous year and graduated. Uh, Rodriguez Clay, uh, receiver who uh, had, had a great year, uh, had about 750, 800 yards receiving, um, which is pretty good for a team that runs the ball a lot. Yeah. Uh, he's back for his senior year. Um, uh, Jordan, we call him BB, Jordan uh, McCray. <clears throat> he, he's kind of uh, handled our free safety duties, and he's done an excellent job. You know, back there, you know, if a ball's in the air, it's a good chance he's going to have a shot at it. Uh, and then uh, D. Ray Sean Bryant, we call him D. Ray. Uh, he's kind of anchors up front um, in O line, D line, and he, he's just okay. a big, strong, you know, country kid. Those are some of our seniors. I mean, there, there's there's so many. I mean, there, I can sit here and talk about everybody on the roster, but I know nobody probably wants to hear about <laughs> that. But uh, uh, I, I'm just excited about these kids. You know, they they uh, they're a great group. They're they're fun to be around. Uh, they want to be coached. They want to be pushed. They, you know, they push themselves, they push each other, uh, and uh, they make it fun, um, you know, to show up to work every day. That's awesome, Coach. And uh, we certainly do look forward to talking with you this season. And uh, you still got a little bit of time. We're about a, about a month away here from uh, kickoff of the season. But uh, how's everything going for you on the on the front of spring and summer practices? I mean, if, have you uh, – uh, being able to get the weight room action that you want and get all the people out there and, and keeping them all well hydrated and fed and, and all that good stuff during the summer. Yeah. Like I said, we had, we had a great spring, you know, we didn't play anybody. Yeah. Um, I, it, it's tough, you know, especially in single A when you're sharing a bunch of athletes. Uh, I don't, and you, you know, you're not in any type of game shape. I'd rather just kind of work amongst ourselves than have to try to get ready to, to play another opponent. But that's, right. I mean, that's everybody's, uh, decision. But um, summer's been great. We had a great June, you know, great attendance. We we probably, uh, well, we, we have more kids on the roster this year uh, than what we've had in any previous year. We have, uh, you know, upper 50s, which wow. is, which is great, good. which is different. Uh, so uh, it's been a great summer. Kids are working really hard. Like you said, it's been hot. So, yeah. you know, keeping them hydrated and, um, and, and, uh, and feeding them are, are – uh, the month of June, you know, we got summer school going on. So the cafeteria is open. They do a good job of, of feeding the kids. Uh, so, uh, I know they'll be excited when the cafeteria is back open again here <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Um, but like I said, I, I can't complain. All the kids have showed up. They've put the work in, they've done everything we've asked them to do. You know, like I said, we just got to keep getting better. At what we do. And, um, you know, these guys that are replacing the guys that we lost, you know, we're excited to see, you know, uh, how they handle it. But, you know, you won't know until we uh, put the pads on here in uh, the beginning of August when we scrimmage Warren County. There you go. 
Well, Coach, uh, we certainly do appreciate you taking the time to join us. Again, talking with Coach Matt Burleson here, the head coach at Telfair County, uh, brought to you by our friends at the Houston Clinic. And, uh, Coach, I'll, I'll share this with you. This year, uh, not only on the Rob, Ben, and Joe show will we continue to be giving out those helmet stickers, which we really appreciate uh, you coaches and programs receiving and allowing on the on the uniforms there. But uh, this year we're also going to also going to look to give away uh, scholarships at the end of the season. At least one scholarship we will be providing uh, toward athletes that uh, are recognized on our show throughout the year. So uh, we look forward to hearing from you and mentioning those names all over again of everybody that's doing really well and. If there's anything that we can uh, continue to offer support for you guys to to do, please let us know. We'd love to do it. And thank you for taking time to be here on the show with us. That's, that sounds great. We appreciate everything you guys do to promote uh, high school football and, and these young men, you know, in our community. So, you know, it's, it's going to get here quick. I'm, uh, I'm hoping for lots of wins and not a whole <laughs> lot of pine cones to drop in this yard this year. It was too, way too many this year. <laughs> I tell you, let me, coach. Before we let you go, I got to tell you that was one of the funniest things that Rob and Ben and I got to uh, take part in last year. Was you talking about those pine cones? It, it, we laughed hard in the studio here about that all season, all season long. So yeah, it, it, like I said, it was uh, not only a monumentous year, you know, at the school, but it was a monumentous year at uh, at the house here for pine cones <laughs> dropping. I don't think things ever stop. So. I got to I got to I got to research how to get these pine cones stop dropping. I ain't got time to be picking all these up all the time. I hear you, coach. Well, appreciate you. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank y'all so much.